Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing well. Root Beer here looking now at question nine on our Kaylee contest. In the diagram, triangle PQR has a right angle down here at Q. A square is drawn on each side of the triangle. Okay. The area of the square on QR is 144. The area of the square over here for, for RP is 169. What's the area of the square? on side PQ. Okay. Now, there are a couple approaches to this. You can go the long way around and say, okay, well, if, if this is 169, then, uh, oh, if, it's a, if that's the area, then the side would be uh, oh, 13, you just square root. And then you do the same thing with this side, you'll get side lengths of 12. And then you say, oh, I've got a right angle triangle 12, hypotenuse of 13, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for this side over here, which you'll find is 5. And if it's a square, 5 by 5, ah, it's 25. And that's sort of the long way around. Let's talk about a slightly faster way to do this. Anytime you have a triangle, a right angle triangle, and you stick squares, I know these don't look like squares, well, we'll make them look like squares. Anytime you've got a right angle triangle, you've got A, B, and C. What you've got, if it's a right angle triangle, you know by the Pythagorean theorem A squared plus B squared is C squared. Right? That's what the Pythagorean theorem says about this nice little right angle triangle. But if A is your side over here and it's a square, then this area here is A squared. And if you've got B, well then this square down here has area B squared. Okay. The squares are just a literal visual representation, a geometric representation of the Pythagorean theorem. So if you have squares like these attached to the sides of a right angle triangle, you know this area plus this area has to be this area. That's what the Pythagorean theorem is telling us. So in our question, what have we got? Well, 169, 144. So 169 is 144 plus what? You rearrange and you say, oh, the missing area is 25. I don't actually need to work out the sides of my Pythagorean triangle, of our right angle triangle, because it's not necessary. And we can just jump straight to the 25, and if you understood that connection, you could have gotten your answer E very, very quickly. And that's something we want to do. Yeah, it's an easy question for the most part, assuming you know the Pythagorean theorem and you're willing to work around uh, with it a little bit. It is question nine on our Cayley paper, but the faster we can do the easy questions, the early questions, the part A and some of the, the earlier part B questions, the more time we have for those harder part B questions, the part C questions on the contest that we want to have enough time to do well on, to better understand. So yeah, you could go the long way around and say, all right, well, side of 13, 13, 12, 12, and then, oh, therefore it must be a five. Oh, okay, five and five is 25. But why go through that trouble if you can make the faster connection and save yourself a little bit more time? Okay, so there we go. That's uh, an answer of E for question number nine. Up next, we're going to finish off part A with question 